Where this all started in December of 2019, when these two individuals, a deputy in Livingston Parish and his teacher wife, who was a middle school teacher, um, got caught by Adobe. They were photoshopping things. Adobe turned them into authorities in Louisiana, which launched an investigation. Authorities with the attorney general's office showed up at the couple's house. They found this safe full of uh, hard drives, computers, thumb drives, things like that. And all of it was encrypted with a software called Keep My Data Safe. And so essentially they had to come in and decode everything. And when they decoded everything, they were alarmed at what they saw. They saw child porn. They saw child rape. They also saw what appeared to be uh, this deputy who was ejaculating on sweets that were then being served to his wife's class. My God, my God. So did, do we know if any of the children were actual students or relatives, or were these just videos that they collected off of the Internet? So according to the court documents that we have, the kids that were served the sweets were definitely students in her class. Um, they photoshopped um, apparently the kids' photos, and, and they had pictures of the children eating the sweets, the cupcakes that he had ejaculated on. In terms of the actual victims that were raped by these individuals, we're told that um, they possibly were uh, some of their close associates or people that they knew. Wow, just mind-blowing. She's a teacher, and of course, he is a former deputy, and she's a former teacher. I think they're estranged now, right? They've, they've divorced? So she divorced him, and you know, if, if it gives you any indication of what their plan of attack is, they immediately filed for divorce. She actually just struck a plea deal with some of the prosecutors here. So she now has to testify against him at trial. And she has agreed to do that in exchange for what some people in this area are calling a light sentence. Um, she'll probably do about 40 years and will probably be eligible for good time. So maybe 20 years. Um, so we'll see what happens. You know, these what's really interesting about this case is these are the people that you teach your children to trust. You teach your children to trust law enforcement. You teach them to trust your, their teacher and to think that they could do something as sick and twisted as this. I mean, it really just has this whole community in utter shock. Exactly. And you're exactly right. They're supposed to be the best of us, our educators, our law enforcement officers. And they went really, really bad, just mind blowing. Now, what's the status in his case? Where does he stand? Uh, Dennis Perkins, the former deputy. So he is scheduled to go to trial sometime this summer. I'm told that they have some evidentiary issues that they're now trying to work through. Um, we had exposed not long ago that a couple of hard drives that were seized out of that safe in their house are now missing. So the million dollar question is where are those hard drives? Did the attorney general's office misplace it? Did the sheriff's office misplace it? And so if that is the case, that raises questions about what is the chain of custody for some of these other pieces of evidence that were collected? So it's a valid question that's probably going to be brought up before trial. The attorney general's office says they don't have any missing hard drives, but there are two hard drives that were labeled and processed, taken in as evidence that are now gone. Parents there must be heartbroken when they found out about this, and especially those parents who had students in the classroom with Cynthia Perkins, the teacher. Oh, 100%. Can you imagine getting a phone call saying um, your child is photographed? We, we believe there's a picture of your child in the safe of, the, of, the, of their teacher with their deputy husband ejaculating on cupcakes. And we believe that your child ate it. And so if you can only imagine the shock that these parents, you know, had to deal with, they, I think they identified at least 12 kids that ate those tainted cupcakes. Wow. Wow. Just mind-blowing that this has occurred uh, in Livingston Parish, Louisiana.